common fitting system that we'll demonstrate today is known as the crimp ring fitting system. And these fittings are made out of brass, copper, or polymer for the fitting insert. All of these fittings use the same copper crimp ring. So this is a deformable round ring made of copper that will go around the outside of the pipe. For installing a crimp ring fitting, the important first step is to always have a clean square cut on the end of the PEX tubing. You do that not with a hacksaw, not with a pocket knife, but with a proper pipe cutter where you do a very fast, clean square cut just to ensure you get a good fitting. After a clean square cut is made, we take the ring and slide that over the end of the pipe and keep it about an eighth of an inch from the end of the pipe. The next step is to take the fitting and insert that into the pipe. And there's a little bit of interference there and that's good because it keeps the fitting from falling out. Then before you compress it, make sure the ring is lined up just centered over these two center ribs as you see here. That means you'll have two ribs for compression to prevent leaks. Next, we take the tool, open the tool up all the way, slides up and over. Important to keep the tool perpendicular with the ring. And then compress it, and it's done. To ensure that the fitting was done correctly, we use a gauge called a go-no-go -no -go gauge to make sure that the ring was compressed correctly. To make sure that it was compressed enough, we start with the go portion and slide that over the ring. And in this case, the ring is compressed correctly, the go side goes over, so that's good. To ensure that the ring was not over compressed, we use the no-go portion and make sure that it does not go. And since it does not go over the ring, that means that the ring was not over compressed. That's also good.